So what's up guys? How are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. You people were waiting a lot for this and uh, today finally I have made a video on it. Okay, so I will be teaching you how you can use a script. Okay, basically we are using a programming language and this is Python. So I have made a code. I have written a code actually. So I have made a downloader for various platforms like Facebook, TikTok, okay, and other platforms. So today I will be use, telling like I will be teaching you how you can use a script and by using this script you can download videos in bulk just in one click from various platforms without paying even a single penny. Okay, I have spent hours on it but you can say I have spent uh, like my weekends, all my weekends on it. And so I will teach you. Okay, so first the first step is installing Python. Okay, so I have already installed Python on my local system. So I've been installing it on my RDP and don't worry, it's really uh, safe. I have just written code by myself. So it's purely written by myself. I haven't used any of that tool. And let's install Python first. Okay. So you will search Python and just click and enter on it. And then let's change the language first, I think. Uh, okay. So just click on this website. Let me just check the translator. Actually, it's in German, German language. I should get a translator here. Okay, just skip it. Uh, let's download it directly and then I will talk about some more things later on. Okay, so here we will install this, this one. Okay, then click on open. Okay, so here you have to make sure you have tick this option. One, then one. Okay, just, just untick it. Just just take this option, okay? It will just add Python X to path. And it's really important when we will be using command. Okay, this is the only thing that you have to tick. And then click on custom install. Okay, everything is stick. Then next. Then don't make any changes. Just click on install. Okay, you have to tick on that option. Actually, this is this this thing I really wanted to teach you. So that's why I had to install it again for you. Okay, I could do this thing in, on my local system. But the thing is that I have installed a lot of libraries for my personal work. If I would have done that. So I had to install the, all those libraries again. So that's why I'm just installing it on my RDP and don't worry it's really easy and I can show you by using it on my local system don't worry there is no such thing like I'm using it on my RDP and you can't use it on your local system it's not like that okay so it's successful now just installing some libraries on it okay I will show you how you can do it so let's check whether we are done okay we are done with the python okay now you have to use a command prompt before that you need a folder I have already created a folder for links for downloads so you don't have to make even a single change the first thing is just downloading this folder. I will just give you a link of it. I will upload it on drive or maybe somewhere online. Okay. So suppose I'm just pasting it here. Okay. So now what do you have to do? You have to open the folder that I'm going to give you. And here on the search bar, just click on it. Here type CMD. Okay. I'm teaching you how you can use script. And once you have learned it, you can use any script, any script, any downloader. Okay. So here you will type uh, the name of the file. The file is real. Just type R, then click on tab. It will type the rest of the words. Then click on enter. Okay. So see, here we have not installed libraries. So first library that we need is YT DLP. Just click on pip, just type pip, 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 install. Don't worry, I will give you this command. Maybe in the comments or maybe in the description. Install, then type this thing, yt, then this, I think the library is this one, the minus dlp. Okay, type this thing. Okay, so downloading has been started. As soon as the downloading gets done, okay, we are done with the process. I will just start the process again. Okay, so now just installing, after installing the libraries, make sure you have links of the Facebook Reels, okay? So you have to just add, uh, paste all those real links in this text file. 
okay where do you get this text file let me just close it and show you get so here here is the option okay there's a there's a uh, text file called links double click on it and here you will enter those links by just grabbing the or scrapping the links from link grabber right so if we are successfully done with the installation process let's uh, click on Rails Spy again okay you can type in manually and you can see the downloading has been started okay so fmpeg is missing I will just uh, add fmpeg as, as well let's see if it's showing in the downloading files okay it has been downloaded but we also need fmpeg so I have installed fmpeg in my, on my local system you need that thing as well must be in the folders let me just search it mm. FMPEG like you need to just mix the audio with the video because that's also very important uh, you can say library so here if I go here it must be here okay this is fmpeg okay i will just click copy let's check the uh, size first because i have to transfer in okay the size is big i can't transfer so let me just show you here and uh, don't worry i will just give you the uh, link of fmpeg where i will just upload this folder what do you have to do as soon as you you download this folder okay just come to this folder and just click here okay here type slash backward slash then ffm back back and then control a control c copy the path don't worry this is just for the first thing don't don't be worried about anything okay don't be afraid it is really easy it's, it's gonna be really easy just search environment okay and just type envi you will see added to system variable click on it and then there's option environment variables click on it and here you see system variables okay here here if you scroll down there's a folder called path click on it click edit here you will add the location of fmpeg just click on new and just paste it okay then click on okay then again okay and again okay we are done with that okay let's try that thing on my local system okay so i just had to tell you about the library that was yt DLP okay so see videos have been downloaded without even without fmpeg but you can install it and uh, there is no major role you can see post processing fmpeg not found okay so you can just have it or you can't have it if it's up to you okay if you want to have it then you can because if you will uh, install that or if you will keep fmpeg with it you won't see this error post processing not found okay so as as I told you, you can just do the theme and you can see reels have been downloaded, right? So I will give you the both both the things. First is fmpeg, and second thing is the script, right? And uh, I can even show you here. Let me just search again. Let's go back. Okay, so this is the script. If I type command here. Then I will type reels R and then click on tab. So here you will see I will not see any of the those warnings, right? You can see it's extracting those URLs. Now it has downloaded the uh, process. It has start, it has started downloading reels. Okay. So see, you can see there is no error because I have installed fmpeg over here. So you have to do the same. Okay, the process is just let's recap the process. First of the uh, first thing is that just downloading this folder, right? Then installing libraries, libraries like YT DLP. Let me just open my RDP. Here I think I showed you. Let's scroll up. Okay, 
so here you can see avoid dlp okay the command i will just give write in the description box so you won't face any problem then you can start the process again by just typing reels just like i did so see we are downloading we are done with the downloading process so the reels have been now saved to the downloads folder i have already created this folder as well as i will i have just written this links text file here you have to paste those video links and you can start the process okay i hope you like the video and in the next video i will be teaching you how you can download videos from tiktok then we will talk about instagram reels and at last i will just suggest you some youtube to youtube tools right thank you thanks for watching see you in the next video